Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making this cute little 3D rubber duck. Do you see it, it has a three dimensional look to this drawing? That's how we are going to make this beautiful cute duck with acrylic paints. First I am taking a sheet of paper. I used acrylic pad for this and I am making a light, very light sketch of the rubber duck. For this, the um, uh, colors I'm using are yellow, orange, red, little brown and a teeny bit of black and some white. You could also make this a light sketch with yellow pencil if you like, but I'm using regular pencil. I hope you are having a good day so far. It's fun to make beautiful sketches every day. If this is your first time coming to my channel, please hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so you will get notified as soon as I post any new paintings. Normally I post at least 3 to 4 new paintings a week because I love and enjoy painting every single day. This is the color palette that I'm using, yellow, red, black and I also used little blue which I don't have it now but I'm going to use it later. First I'm laying down this yellow color all over the duck and later on I'll be adding some shading. After I lay down the color, I am blending it to make it a little smooth. For the shadow part, I am mixing teeny bit of a brown color and then mix with yellow and then applying it for the shadows. Just so you know, I also have another YouTube channel for medium to experienced level of painting which I have it in the other sit back and paint that is the name of the channel. I will put the link in the description below and you can check it out. I have lots of painting in the, the that channel. But this one I specifically kept for little drawings and then simple artworks. Here I'm blending all the colors so as to get a smooth look. I make all these drawings during late evenings or night time because that's when everyone is sleeping and they'll have a peaceful time making the artwork.
for the lighter areas I'm mixing teeny bit of white and then yellow and then applying it for the lights uh, where, where the light hits the duck the area will be lighter shade so that's when I'm using white and yellow mix for the other areas for the shadows I used a uh, little brown and yellow mix Here I'll be using little orange and uh, red and where the light hits the, that portion I use uh, white color. Where there is a reflection I'm going to use uh, pure white in between the orange. If you have very thin brush you could use it for the eye but for this painting I am just using the same brush for all the areas but it's up to you if you feel comfortable you could use very different sizes of brush for each area. Just keep on blending with different colors until you see the uh, look that you are looking for. There is no specific rules or anything, just keep on blending until you see the right uh, proportion of colors. I'm sure little kids will enjoy making this painting because it's so cute. I got this idea of making the 3D painting because I was going through different uh, YouTube channels uh, where they post anamorphic illusion paintings. So that's when I thought of um, making the rubber ducky with 3D. It's a perfect uh, cute little painting for a three dimensional anamorphic illusion painting. Some people also draw snakes and other cute animals. But snakes are sometimes scary for little kids, so I chose rubber duck. Adding cute little eyelashes to this beautiful duck.
for the darker areas i use little red mixed with orange and for the lighter areas i mixed with white and little orange that's how i created the variation in colors for any painting if you create variation in colors it gives a 3d realistic look For the shadow portion, I mixed the black with little white. That's uh, how I created this. The uh, part where is closest to the duck, it will be darker, whereas the outer shadow will be little lighter. So I used the two different shades of grey for the shadows, and nicely blended the paints. And rubber duck without uh, bubbles will be looking incomplete. So this uh, I'm adding little blue bubbles that will look even more cute. Otherwise, it was looking uh, that uh, looking like something is missing in this duck. For the soap bubbles I uh, used a little blue and then for the highlights I used little white reflection on the soap bubble. That gives an illusion that uh, light is getting reflected. I wanted to thank you so much for uh, coming to my channel and if you really enjoy this cool video uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification icon bell icon so you will be notified as soon as I post a new painting and I look forward to seeing you t tomorrow with a new painting and please feel free to add any comments if you like me to make any new painting of your choice I can definitely make it if you give me a comment. Now next is the fun part, I am cutting out the top portion. That is what will create the three dimensional effect. Oh, I am sorry the camera is not focused on the paper. Yeah, basically I am cutting out the top portion. See now it gives a three dimensional look to the painting. I was not happy with the shading so I am taking a little color color pencil light blau, brown in color and then applying some shadows because the other one was little looking very plain so this will add more depth to the painting.
again applying little yellow paint over the brown and to create a blended look see now it looks a little blended earlier the shading was missing and it was looking all plain yellow that's why I added this uh, brown using the color pencil little final touches to the duck I hope you enjoyed this cute video and please uh, come again tomorrow I'll bring another new painting for you see now it gives a three-dimensional effect it looks as if the toy is real